Hi, welcome to a new video. In this video, you're going to watch me make a pattern on Canva. Yes, this pattern I'm going to be using for my Redbubble shop, and you're going to watch me how to I put the elements together for it to become a nice pattern design. Like I mentioned, I'm going to do another Canva tutorial. They're quick and easy. So first, I'm going to go on say Create a Design. I will click Custom Design. Then I will put 5,000. So it's right here. I have recent 5,000 times 5,000 PX. So that's the max size Canva allows you for the free version. Now you're going to get this white canvas. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Elements. So to create a pattern, you will go to Elements. Elements is where you could browse any element that you would like to create a pattern with. I usually um, would search anything that I feel like it. For example, these are my recent ones, recently used. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to do like a Valentine slash makeup pattern for this one. So. I just browsed lipstick because I've been thinking of making this pattern already so I was browsing and I found that I like this lipstick then the next element that I searched for was lips um, so for the lips you could only use the ones that don't say pro because the ones that say pro are the ones that people pay for Canva so I just have the free version so I use the free elements and right now I'm just looking through get some lipsticks and some lips right now i'm just brainstorming what element would look nice for my for to create a pattern and some elements you could actually change the colors for example the lipstick i could change the colors this lip i like this element but i not going to use it especially because i cannot change the color of the lips and i'm not really a big fan of red right now um but i guess red is a pretty color but for this pattern i don't want to use too much red and i'm just here browsing more lips i think i like this pink one and purple so it's a good idea to it's a good idea to explore the elements and just search little elements that you're thinking of for example i'm just right now i'm just thinking lips lipsticks and xoxo so I'm going to be searching through that and just putting everything on the canvas for me to kind of think, get ideas, get inspired and to start organizing what elements will work together to make a nice pattern. And what I like about canvas is that once you search for example lips, you will get this um, pop up that says magic recommendations. And they provide you with more elements that are similar that you could actually use. And typically, I also explore those. And it's a, they have a good selection too when it comes to deciding. Usually, the deeper you go down on the element search, the more is pro for pro version. There's limited free ones. Usually, the free ones are on the top. The first two lips are pretty. There's a lot of choices, especially for the people that have pro. But I just rely and want to use a free one for right now. So the next element idea that I'm going to search for is lip. I just took the S just to see, test it out to see if I get different results. And I kind of did little bit and then I just um, found the one on the top and decided to include that one and I like this one because I feel like this one is my favorite because I could actually change the color of the lips which is what I want 
So now I'm just deleting the ones that I chose to put on the canvas. And I just click the trash, I just click the element and just click the trash and it's gone. So I decided to keep this lip one for right now and I just changed the color. So I'll, you would just tap the image and then you could go up on the left side and just put change the color. And then I decided that I like the lipstick color and it kind of matches with the lip color that I decided. So I'm just going to leave those two like those like that. But I feel like my pattern is not red. It's not good. It's not ready for me to start creating the pattern. So now I'm going to search XOXO. Some Valentine vibe. So I found the top ones. Usually the ones on top are the free ones. So this one I could actually change the colors, which is what I love for the elements that could do that. So I change it to the colors that kind of match the lips and the lipstick. I think that one looks good. So I just decided to make the pattern with these three elements. Usually when it comes to pattern, I stick to two or three elements and create a pattern because I feel like if I include more than four or five elements, I could lose um, the like lose inspiration, inspire, or wouldn't know how to fit them all. So I feel like I, I could easily control three elements to put them in a pattern. So I decided how tall they are and the size and everything. And then what I do is just click an element and then I would just duplicate it. The duplication button is on the top right corner next to the trash can. And you would just first touch that element and then um, duplicate and then for some reason I was wanted to add another thing just to try it yeah play around to make a little more Valentine's but then I decided that uh, I don't know I feel like with three I'm good the love one will be a little bit weird I don't know so I'm just playing around with it but at the end I didn't really like it so at the end I deleted it So now what you're going to watch me do is after I delete the love one, well I didn't really delete it. I just moved it to the page 2 in case I wanted to do another design. And what you're going to continue watching is me duplicating each element and putting it as in a pattern.
Once, once I am about done with the pattern, I just move around to see if I don't have too much of a white space on certain areas. So I keep moving the elements around, making sure they look good and everything. I'm trying to make them fit and don't look too crowded, but my goal is to not have too much white or space. Um, I just want to have, I just want to make the pattern look good. Make sure the elements are not overlapping each other. Sometimes I create patterns that they overlap a little, but it depends. Like for example, sometimes I use leaves and leaves could actually overlap around flowers and everything like that. But with this one, I'm trying not to make everything too crowded or have too much space around. So I'm trying to move these things around because I do like the size of the elements. Um, and when it comes to pattern, I don't want to make it too huge because once this pattern is done, I make it, I transfer it to another program to make the canvas bigger for Redbubble. So I'm just moving this thing around and so basically uh, once it's done, I will usually transfer this image to the program and make it bigger. So that's why I don't like making the elements too big. I feel like this is the size that I usually use when I create patterns. So I'm just, just making sure everything looks good. And if you guys are interested in more videos like this, Please subscribe and I'm planning on making more videos about creating designs for Redbubble or Redbubble content. That's my goal. I have a lot of, I have a long list of videos. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. Usually when I'm done with the pattern, what I do that I've been trying to do is change the background. You could leave it white, but sometimes I like exploring other colors and seeing what other colors make the design pop or more interesting. I feel like I like the black, I like the white background, and I just like playing around with all the colors. You could actually choose, oh, so it says document colors. Basically, those colors are the colors that are mainly used in the elements that you decided to put on. For example, I decided to choose those colors. So those colors are there as document colors, which you could actually pick those for background, or you could actually choose from the default colors. Usually those never change. The document colors actually change, or you could actually pick a new color, which is you're gonna give a lot of, you're gonna get like a canvas with a bunch of colors that you could choose from, and you could just play around. Usually when I don't find colors from the default colors or the document colors, I go and pick a new color and explore there. So you could actually just put any color you like as a background or you could just leave it white. I like this color and the black one and the gray one. Not gray one, I mean black, white and this one. So I think I'm sticking with these and and I feel like these are ready. They just need editing to make so I could make them bigger. I can't wait to upload these to my Redbubble shop and Society6. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and please subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in my next video. Please take care. Bye-bye.